Senile cataract is a vision-impairing disease characterised by gradual, progressive clouding of the lens. The word cataract is actually Greek, meaning waterfall. According to figures published by the World Health Organization, it accounts for over 50% of the world's blindness. And worldwide, more than 28,000 new cases of cataract are reported every day. In the United States alone, 1.3 million cataract operations are performed annually, at a cost of $3.5 billion. However, in developing countries, there is simply not sufficient funds nor number of surgeons to perform cataract operations. As such, a significant number of people are unnecessarily, but unfortunately, permanently blind because of cataract. Cataract is found primarily in older individuals, with approximately 25% of the population over 65 years of age and about 50% over 80 having a serious loss of vision because of age-related cataract. As might be expected, patients experience a considerable amount of discomfort as their vision diminishes. Although surgical extraction is effective, there are known complications. For example, in the USA, 30 to 50% of all patients having a cataract extraction develop opacification of the posterior lens capsule within two years and then require further laser treatment. The complete loss of accommodation resulting from the surgical removal of the lens should also be recognized. A plastic lens does not have the accommodation of a natural one. Since the number of cataract operations is so large, even a small percentage of complications represents a significant number of people. For example, 0.8% of patients having cataract surgery have retinal detachments, and 1.3% are hospitalised for corneal edema, which requires corneal transplantation. So, aside from secondary cataract, about 2% of the 1.35 million, or approximately 27,000 individuals, just in the US each year, develop serious complications as a result of cataract surgery. So there is a considerable need for identifying the risk factors and to search for an easily applied and beneficial therapeutical remedy, particularly as a possible protective strategy. The Russians looked for a simpler solution in the 1990s, noting that the explosion of the ageing population could outstrip the number of trained surgeons to perform cataract surgeries globally. Dr. Mark Babajayev at Innovative Vision Products, IVP, considered the possibility of cataract being related to free radicals and through the destructive mechanism of glycosylation and lipid peroxidation. As we age, there is a loss or inhibition of both free radical and lipid peroxidation protection within the eye. And as this research group had so much data on the natural dipeptide carnosine, they decided to look into the possibility of a carnosine-based eye drop that could protect the eye against the formation of cataract. Carnosine is principally found in muscle cells but the molecule that was studied was the acetylated form of the natural dipeptide L-carnosine, specifically known as N-acetylcarnosine. One percent N-acetylcarnosine eye drops have been carefully studied in canines and their efficacy for cataract treatment has been determined. During these studies, a new phenomenon was seen for the first time and it is demonstrated in this slide. Due to its obvious resemblance, this phenomenon has been referred to as melting snow. This effect is quickly noted after the installation of the eye drops in dogs, partly because dogs lack an enzyme found in humans known as carnosinase, which breaks down carnosine. Therefore, the effects of these drops are far more rapid in canines. This effect is the cortical appearance of cataract reversal starting from the periphery and then the lens becoming more transparent. This effect was noted within one month of treatment. These photographs show the reduction of cataract in the rabbit eye 
These periods are shown as from left to right, before treatment, during treatment, and then after treatment. The reduction in the size of the cataract is clearly shown. This slide shows the results of a patient's cataract treatment after just three weeks. Already there is evidence that the cataract has become reversed in the upper segment of the lens. There is also less opalescence as shown on the bottom image. In this slide of a different human eye with a cataract shows the areas that have become more transparent after the topical application of two drops twice a day for four months. A different patient slide demonstrates the results of the treatment of a ripe human cataract after approximately five months of treatment. Dr. Babajayev uses the term ripe to mean the cataract has existed for a long time, possibly in excess of 12 years. Once again, the lens has become clearer in the nuclear and cortical areas. Now we see the result of the eye drops in a woman's posterior cortical cataract. The top image highlights the cataract before treatment, which resembles a bat in its shape. As can be seen, the lens at the bottom represents the same eye after five months treatment. The lens has become much clearer. IVP have experimented with various forms and purities of carnosine since 1993 and their studies make it clear that ordinary carnosine has a very low activity. In conjunction with a Japanese pharmaceutical company, the active material was synthesized and purified according to a proprietary process. The highly specific N-acetylcarnosine and carrier formula used in all the trials against cataracts are only included in the Can-C eyedrop brand. No other eyedrop on the market is approved by the inventors of this technology.